learning objectives. After studying this module, students will be able to know the meaning of not-for-profit organization, explain the features of not-for-profit organization, understand the types of account prepared by not-for-profit organization, understand the financial statements prepared by not-for-profit organization, know the difference between income and expenditure and receipt and payment account. Learn the treatment of certain peculiar items in final accounts. What is not-for-profit organization? What are not-for-profit organizations? The organizations that work for the welfare of the society and for a non-profit motive are known as not-for-profit organizations. Generally, charitable organizations come under this category. The purpose of these organizations is to serve to a public group. These organizations generally do not manufacture goods or sell or purchase goods. The source of their income is generally donations, subscriptions from their members, grants from the government, or income from investment. These organizations maintain accounts to exercise the control over utilization of funds. Features of a not-for-profit organization The main features of such organizations are These organizations are formed for giving services to groups at large, like education, healthcare, and sports. These organizations run for non-profit or charge a nominal cost. These organizations usually work as a charitable trust or societies. Their functions usually managed by a committee elected by its members. The sources of income of such organizations are through subscriptions from members, donations, grants by the government, or income from investments. The income through various sources is credited to capital fund or general fund. These organizations work for the welfare of the society or for social cause. The accounting information these organizations provide is meant to meet the statutory requirement of present and potential contributors. Accounting records for not-for-profit organization. As we know that the main source of income for these organizations is through subscriptions, donations from the government or financial institutions. These organizations do transactions in the cash or through banks. They need to maintain a proper record of their transactions. That is why they keep a cash book for recording day-to-day -day transactions. These organizations also maintain a ledger that contains a record of all incomes, expenses, assets, and liabilities, which helps in the preparation of financial statements at the end of the accounting year. They maintain a capital fund to record the subscriptions, donations, etc. Final accounts of financial statements. At the end of the financial year, the not-for-profit organizations are also need to prepare financial statements. But to know whether the income earned by these organizations is enough to meet the expenditures, these organizations are also required to give this information to the members, donors, investors, and registrar of societies. Thus, the final accounts of a not-for-profit organization consists of receipt and payment account, income and expenditures account, and balance sheet. If an organization is recording the transactions through the double entry system, then they must prepare a trial balance for checking the accuracy of the ledger accounts. Receipt and payment account. This account is prepared at the end of the accounting year on the basis of cash received and cash payments that are recorded in the cash book. It is a record of cash and bank transactions under various heads. For example, the money received from members as subscriptions will appear on the debit side of the cash book and will be shown as a receipt in the receipt and payment account. Receipt and payment account records various receipts and payments. Whether they belong to the current period, previous year, or the coming year, or whether they are of capital or revenue nature. 
it does not show any depreciation. The opening balance in receipt and payment account shows cash in hand or cash at bank, which is shown on its receipt side. And the closing balance represents cash in hand and bank balance as at the end of the year, which appear on the credit side of the receipt and payment account. A detailed list of items of receipt and payment account is given as follows. Salient features of receipt and payment account. Let us discuss these features one by one. It is like a cash book in which receipts are recorded on the debit side while payments are entered on the credit side. It records the amounts of all receipts and payments, whether it belongs to the current year or not. It records all types of receipts, whether they are of capital nature or revenue nature. There is no difference between the cash or bank transactions. This account does not show items like depreciation, outstanding expenses, accrued income, etc. This account starts with an opening balance of cash in hand or bank and closes with the balance of cash in hand or bank or bank overdraft at the end of the year. Steps to create receipt and payment account. We need to enter the items as follows. Enter the opening balances of cash in hand or cash at bank on the debit side and bank overdraft on the credit side of account. Show the amount of all receipts on its debit side irrespective of the year to which they belong. Show the amount of payments on the credit side irrespective of the year to which they belong. No receivable income and payable expenses are to be accounted in the books of accounts. Difference between the payment and receipts is to be entered as cash in hand, as closing balance, or bank overdraft in the debt. Income and expenditure account. It is like a profit and loss account that is prepared on the accrual basis in any business. It records only revenue items and the balance at the end of the accounting year is represented as surplus or deficit. The expenses and losses are represented on the expenditure side, whereas all the incomes or profits are represented on the income side. It shows the net profit or net loss at the end of the accounting year. Steps in preparing income and expenditure account. We need to take the following steps while preparing income and expenditure account from receipt and payment account. Study the receipt and payment account in details. Exclude the opening and closing balances of cash and bank from income and expenditure account. Don't include capital receipts and capital payments as these things will be reflected in the balance sheet. We should consider only the revenue receipts to be shown on the income side of the income and expenditure account. Enter the revenue expenditures to the expenditures side of the income and expenditure account. The depreciation, profit and loss of sale of fixed assets and doubtful debts also considered in income and expenditure account. Let us take an example. From the receipt and payment account given below, prepare the income and expenditure account of Clean Delhi Club for the year ended March 31st, 2007. Difference between receipts and payment account and income and expenditure account. Difference between receipt and payment versus income and expenditures account. We can differentiate between the both on the basis of the following factors. Nature. Income and expenditure account is like a profit and loss account, whereas receipt and payment account is like a cash book. Nature of items. Income and expenditure records only capital nature expenditures and income, whereas receipt and payment account considers both revenue and capital nature transactions. Period. Income and expenditure account considers only current year's transactions, whereas receipt and payment account considers income and expenditures of previous and succeeding years also. Debit side. Debit side of the income and expenditure account 
takes expenses and losses, whereas debit side of the receipt and payment account enters receipts. Credit side. Credit side of the income and expenditures account enter incomes and profits, whereas the credit side of receipt and payment account considers payments. Depreciation. Income and expenditure account records depreciation whereas receipt and payment account does not include depreciation. Opening balance. Income and expenditure account does not have any opening balance whereas receipt and payment account takes to cash in hand or bank overdraft. Closing balance. Closing balance in income and expenditure account shows an excess of income over expenditures or vice versa, whereas receipt and payment account represent cash in hand or bank overdraft. Balance sheet and its preparation. Balance sheet. Balance sheet is prepared by a, a non-profit organization to know the financial position of the organization. It displays assets and liabilities at the end of every financial year. Assets are displayed on the right side, whereas liabilities are displayed on the left side. The difference is that it has a capital fund in place of capital and surplus or deficit as per income and expenditures account is to be added or deducted from the capital fund. We add some items like legacies, life membership fees, and entrance fees directly in the capital fund. There can be other funds too like sports fund, building fund, donors fund, etc. to cater specific purposes. Steps to prepare balance sheet. Take the capital fund as per opening balance and add surplus from the income and expenditure account. Add entrance fees, legacies received during the year. Consider all the fixed assets with additions after charging depreciation. Compare items on the receipts side of the receipts and payments account with income side of the income and expenditure account. Compare items on the payment side of the receipts and payments account with expenditure side of the income and expenditure account. Peculiar items in non-profit organizations. We prepare the final accounts of the non-profit organization with the same format as we prepare for other business organizations. There are few items which are different in nature and need to be taken care while preparing final accounts of these organizations. Let us discuss these items one by one. Subscriptions. Subscriptions are basically the membership fee paid by the member of the organization on annual basis. This subscription is the main source of income for non-profit organizations. Subscription which is paid by the members is considered as a receipt in the receipt and payment account and as income in the income and expenditure account. It is important to note that subscription received by the organization is shown as total amount received as a subscription in the receipt and payment account, irrespective of the year in which it is received, whereas income and expenditure account shows only current year's subscription, where it is received or not. For example, a club received rupees 20,000 as subscriptions during the year 2005-06, of which rupees 3,000 rebate to year 2004 and 5 and rupees 2000 to 2006 and 7 at the end of the year 2005 6 rupees 6000 are still receivable in this case the receipt and payment account will show rupees 20000 as receipt from subscriptions but the income and expenditure account will show rupees 21000 as income from subscriptions for the year 2005 and 6 the calculation of which is shown in the referenced image. Donations Donations are a kind of gift an organization receives in cash or property received as a gift from some person or organization. 
It is displayed on the receipt side of the receipt and payment account. Donations can be journal or given for some specific purposes. Specific donations. If the donation is to be utilized for a specific purpose, then it is called specific donation. These specific purposes could be an extension of the existing building, construction of new computer laboratory, creation of book bank, etc. Such donation is to be shown on the liabilities side of the balance sheet, whether the amount is big or small. General donations. Such donations are utilized for the general purpose of the organization. These are treated as revenue receipts, as general donations are the regular source of income for such organizations. It is taken to the income side of the income and expenditure account of the current year. Legacies Legacy, as the name suggests, is the amount received as per the will of a deceased person. If the amount is big, then it appears on the receipt side of the receipt and payment account and is directly added to the capital fund in the balance sheet because doesn't occur again and again. If the amount is small, then it is treated as income and shown on the income side of the income and expenditure account. Life membership fees and other items. Life membership fees. The amount paid by the members as a lump sum rather than periodic as membership fee is treated as capital receipt and credited to capital fund directly. Entrance fees. Entrance fee, which is also called as admission fee, is paid only once by the member at the time of taking membership. In case of organizations that are limited in numbers, like clubs, and the amount of entrance fees is high, it is treated as non-recurring item and credited directly to capital or general fund. In case of some organizations, like educational institutions, the admission fees are a regular income and the amount involved may also be small. Then we treat this item as a revenue receipt. If there is specific instruction, the entire amount is treated as capital receipt and should be directly added to capital or journal fund. Sale of old assets. The money received by the sale of old assets is to be included in the receipt and payment account of the year in which it's sold and any profit or loss is to be displayed in income and expenditure account. Sale of periodicals. It is an item that reoccurs and hence it is treated as income and shown in the income side of income and expenditure account. Other items. Sale of sports materials. The sale of sports old material like balls, bats, net is sold by the clubs. It is shown as income in the income and expenditure account. Payment of honorarium. The amount that is paid to the person who is not a regular employee of the organization is called honorarium. For example, payment made to an artist for giving a performance at the club is an example of honorarium. It is shown on the expenditure side of the income and expenditure account. Endowment fund. It is the amount received from a gift, the income of which is meant for a specific purpose. Therefore, it is considered as a capital receipt and reflected on the liabilities side of the balance sheet. Government grant. Many educational institutions, universities, colleges depend upon the grant of the government for their activities. The grants that are recurring in nature is treated as revenue receipt and credited to income and expenditure account. Whereas, grants like building grant is treated as capital receipt and is transferred to the building fund. The cash subsidy can be taken as revenue income for the year in which it is received. Special funds. The non-profit organizations create special funds for special purposes like sports fund, match fund, prize fund, etc. Such funds are treated as investment in securities and the income earned on such investments is added to related funds and not in the credit of income and expenditure account. 
and the same way the expenses are also deducted from the related fund stationery normally expenses incurred on stationery or any time that is consumable are charged to income and expenditure account but in case of stock of stationery opening and or closing is given the approach would make necessary adjustments in purchases of stationery and work out the cost of stationery consumed and show that amount in income and expenditure account and its stock in the balance sheet income and expenditure account based on trial balance as we have learnt that in the case of a non profit organization the income and expenditure account and balance sheet are prepared on the basis of receipt and payment account but sometimes the trial balance is also considered along with additional information for example from the trial balance and other information given below for a school prepare income and expenditure account for the year ended on 31st march 2006 and a balance sheet as on that day incidental trading activity at times chemist shop hospital canteen beauty parlor etc facilities is provided to the members or public as a part of trading activity in such cases the trading account has to be prepared to find out the results of such incidental activity the profit from such trade activities is used to fulfill the main objectives of the organization and so it is transferred to the income and expenditure account the following procedure is followed to create such an account prepare trading account to calculate profit or loss due to such commercial trading all costs and revenues directly and exclusively related to such trading activity are recorded in the trading account and the balance of trading account is transferred to income and expenditure account in addition to trading profit or loss all other incomes and expenses not recorded in the trading account surplus or deficit revealed by the income and expenditure account is transferred to capital or general fund for example shiv e narayan education trust provides the information in regard to receipt and payment account an income and expenditure account for the year ended march 31st 2017 on march 31st 2016 the following balances appeared investments rupees 160000 furniture rupees 40000 and books rupees 20000 prepare opening and closing balance sheet balance sheet as on 31st march 2016 balance sheet as on 31st march 2017 summary let us summarize what we have learned in this module the organizations that work for the welfare of the society and for a non profit motive are known as not for profit organization the main source of income for these organizations is through subscriptions donations from the government or financial institutions receipt and payment account is prepared at the end of the accounting year on the basis of cash received and cash payments that are recorded in the cash book receipt and payment account records the amounts of all receipts and payments whether it belongs to the current year or not income and expenditure account records only revenue items and the balance at the end of the accounting year is represented as surplus or deficit balance sheet is prepared by a non profit organization to know the financial position of the organization donations are a kind of a gift received in the form of cash or property from some person or organization legacy as name suggests is the amount received as per the will of a deceased person the amount that is paid to the person who is not a regular employee of the organization is called honorarium